My name is Glenn Peterson, and today I'd like to share with you some thoughts on how to hold a pickleball paddle. Uh, the way that we hold the paddle matters in the way we play, and our goal is to hold the paddle in a way that complements our best strokes. Uh, there are basically three ways to hold the paddle, and if the way that you hold it today works, stick with it. But if you're a beginner, uh, or if you're thinking about changing your grip, I hope that these thoughts help. Uh, the first way that people grab a pickleball paddle is like they're grabbing a hammer and hammering in a nail, like this. The second is to shift their hand to the back of the paddle as if they were swatting a fly. And the third is a grip in between as if they were shaking hands with a paddle. In tennis, players change their grip depending on whether they're hitting forehands or backhands because there's adequate time in a large court to do that. In pickleball, particularly during fast kitchen exchanges, there simply is not time to change my grip between forehand and backhand. So one grip has to suffice for both forehands and backhands for volleys and for ground strokes. And so we're gonna talk in more detail about the three different grips, what the advantages are and the disadvantages of each of those grips. So again, our goal is to match the way we hold our paddles with our style of play. Players who hit an equal number of backhands and forehands typically prefer the hammer grip that I described earlier. In tennis, we call this the continental grip. And technically, if you look at the base of the pickleball paddle and orient it with this diagram, this being the top, this is position one, this bevel, this is position two, which is kind of a bevel or a corner, three, four, and five. In the continental grip or the hammer grip, this base joint on my finger lines up with the corner bevel two on my handle. So I'm gonna place that mark right on that bevel, and that is the continental grip. That grip slightly favors backhands because the knuckles are facing the net. So players with strong backhands but great forehands like the continental grip. The second grip that we talked about is the grip as if you were swatting a fly. This is the grip that beginners instinctively pick up a paddle with when they begin playing pickleball, particularly if they have no paddle sports background. And again, this is a great grip for forehand strokes because the palm of my hand is behind the flat portion of the paddle. In tennis, we call this the Western or semi-Western grip. If the base of my forefinger is on position four of the handle, this is a semi-Western grip. If it's all the way to the bottom of the handle, it's a fully Western grip. Again, this is a great grip for forehands, but makes for a very difficult backhand because the wrist is now facing the net and I have no strength to hit that backhand stroke. Some players who hold the semi-Western or fully Western grip will actually use a two-handed backhand in order to get power in their backhand stroke. Another solution is to simply put the paddle in your left hand instead of hitting backhands. The third grip is by far the most popular grip in pickleball. And it's the grip that I talked about shaking hands with the paddle. In this case, the mark on the base of my finger is lined up with bevel three on the handle. In this grip, it's the perfect compromise between forehand and backhand. So players that hit more forehands, which most of us prefer to hit forehands, more forehands than backhands, like the Eastern 
grip. It's the preferable grip in pickleball in terms of the ideal compromise. The last two points I'd like to make about grips is that many players, particularly to those with a table tennis background, like to have a finger and or a thumb on the paddle surface. By having a finger on the paddle surface, my finger is telling my brain what the orientation of the paddle is. It helps me in keeping the paddle relatively vertical as I stroke a ball and prevents me from popping up balls or hitting balls in the net. Some players put two fingers and a thumb, some four or five fingers. In this way, they get incredible control of their paddle face by having their fingers on their paddle face. Of course, their fingers are somewhat exposed to being hit by balls, but the added control that a player gets by putting fingers, one, two, or three fingers or, or more on a paddle face provides them additional stability, additional control, and a great reference point between their brain and the paddle face when striking a ball. The other point I'd like to make is that most top players hold a paddle with a loose or a relaxed grip. It's not a death grip, it's not a tight grip. It would be easy to pull the paddle right out of their hands while they're playing. This is particularly helpful when hitting third shots or when hitting volleys. A death grip on the paddle makes it very difficult to get control and also I can get a lot more power with a lot less effort, surprisingly, by holding the paddle with a very loose grip. I hope that you find these points helpful and I hope to see you on a pickleball court soon.